Hello everyone and welcome to Learn Tech. Microsoft is working on the next feature update for Windows 11 currently, which it calls Windows 11 version 24H2. Microsoft confirmed the name of the update this month and ended speculation that it would release Windows 12 this year. This new feature will be focused mainly on artificial intelligence, but it will also include a change that affects some devices running Windows 11 on unsupported PC. It appears that Microsoft is introducing a new hardware requirement in Windows 11 version 24H2 that prevents systems that do not support it from booting the operating system. So basically, if you don't satisfy this requirement and your computer is not supported since in the first place, then most probably your Windows 11 24H2 version will not be able to boot on your computer. But which is this functionality or this requirement that now Microsoft is requiring us to satisfy or is requiring our CPUs to satisfy? Basically, until now, we were able to install Windows 11 on unsupported PC by using a trick that even Microsoft itself published on their website with just editing the registry editor, we were able to install Windows 11, even that we were not supported to install Windows 11. But now these requirements have been more tough and pretty much will not be able based on what Microsoft has said if we don't really satisfy that requirement. But what is this requirement? So basically, if the CPU does not support POP CNT, Windows 11 version 24H2 will not boot. What is this requirement? More specifically, it is called SSE 4.2 or SSE 4A. If your CPU does not support this instruction functionality or whatsoever, then you will not be able to install this version. The good thing is that the change affects Intel and AMD processors that are really very old. Intel supports this technology since 2008 and AMD supports this technology in the late 2011. But even so, the old processors continue to be sold for some more years. But again, the number that is really cut off from this update, it should be low since, since basically if you have bought a computer which is after 2010, most probably you have a CPU that will support this requirement of Windows 11. So how we can find out if our CPU supports this technology that is required from Microsoft? For that, we need to download this application, which I'll put the link in the description below and you can come directly on this page. It's for free and you can download it on your PC and let me show you how it will look after the installation. Let's go ahead, let's download it here. I'm gonna save it here and once it's downloaded, it's just 2.1 megabyte. Then you run it on your PC. I accept the agreement, next, next, next. It's pretty easy to install it and Let's finish the installation. Let's run now CPU Z. All right, so now it will fetch some of the data on my PC. And as you can see here, instructions, this is the part where you have to focus and see if your CPU supports this kind of technologies for the instructions. In my case, yes, it supports, it's a new PC and actually it's supported from Windows 11, but if your computer is not supported since in the first place, then you just have to check these technologies here, SSE 4.2, and the other one is SSE 4A. So basically, in my case, I'm safe. So check this one and make sure that your CPU supports Windows 11 24H2. Otherwise, don't bother to upgrade to this version. Stay on Windows 11 23H2. That will be supported until the end or October 2025, I believe. And if then the next option will be to go back to Windows 10, which actually has also the possibility to extend the support from October 2025. So basically, that's all that I wanted to share it to you guys today. I hope this video will help you to make the right decision for your computer. And thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing to our channel if you like our content. Wish to you all the best. Thank you.